Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello if you're new, my name is Jess. Welcome to Smarter Beauty, where I talk about cruelty free beauty and a little lifestyle here and there. Make sure to subscribe. You can follow me on social media. My links will be here on the screen and also linked below in the description box as always. So for today's video, I have another Medusa's beauty box. It's a makeup box. It's a subscription service. If you want to see what's in the April box and we're going to try everything on, then keep on watching. Let's get into this video. So this is the April box. I know that this is probably going to go up at the very end of May. <laughs> Uh, and my May box is on its way. So I know it's probably due to everything going on in the world right now. Totally fine. But yeah, that's why this is a little going up a little late. I did already look inside because, you know, I have to kind of plan out a look around the products. And so I need to kind of think about it. <laughs> Anyways, you open it up. There's little pink tissues inside. And every month has a different theme. So the month for April was Get Happy. And it says for April, cute little photo there. And on the back of the card, it tells you a little information about each product. So let's just start with this thing here at the bottom. This is the one beauty product from the April box and it is a sheet mask. So this retails for $4.99. It's a cucumber, cucumber facial sheet mask. It soothes skin while the blend of moisturizers leaves skin smooth and silky and restores hydration and brightness. That was the one beauty item, so that was something different, which was kind of nice. Oh, and there's also a little sticker in here, which is really cute, and it says, Get Happy. I think that I received something different than other people. I noticed from other people's unboxing videos, they received a toner spray from the brand Medusa's makeup. <laughs> And I didn't receive the toner, so I just got the sheet mask with three uh, makeup products. So that's interesting. I don't know, maybe they ran out, or maybe they kind of mix and match different boxes. I don't know if every single box is the same for everyone. So I just wanted to point that out there. You might receive something different than me. I don't know. Who knows? So there is only, uh, there's one eye product, and it is a liquid eyeshadow. So this is my first time receiving a liquid eyeshadow. This retails for $13, and this is in the shade Marilyn. Rich, beautiful color with a high shimmer sheen. No glitter. So here's what it looks like. First of all, the packaging is super cute with the little stars. I love the black and white. Really cute. It says Medusa's makeup here, and it's just a plastic container. Shade is on the bottom. Now, when I think of the name Marilyn, red automatically pops into my mind, but you know, this is a, I would describe this as a dark charcoal gray with shimmer in it. So it does come with a kind of, looks like a lipstick doe foot applicator. As you can tell, this is a bit sheer. Um, it's not extremely pigmented, but that is the shade Marilyn. Again, it's like a charcoal gray with a little bit of shimmer. So I think I'm going to do just a quick eye look, probably speed through it because I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. So I already primed my eyes with the eyeshadow primer from Milani Cosmetics. And then I did set that with the Revolution Loose Powder that I'm trying to finish up. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna reach for my uh, Gimme Glow Cosmetics Grunge Eyeshadow Palette. This is the old packaging. So sad, they have new packaging now that looks a thousand times cuter. I need to wash my brushes, like, big time. So I'm gonna dip into, I think, Teenage Dirt Bag.
So for the waterline, we might as well do black, right? So I'm just gonna take my Milani Cool Supreme Cool Cajole. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Line my waterline and probably tight line as well. To highlight my inner corner, I'm just gonna use the same highlighter I'm wearing on my face today, which is the Halo Highlighter in Allure. All right, so we did this very intense smoky eye because obviously this is a very dark color. This would not look good over like a neutral eye. I don't know how that would look. I'm just gonna use a flat synthetic brush. This is the E113. So I have quite a bit here on my brush just to show you. All right, I don't think I wanna apply any more. I'm gonna kind of let this Take a second again. It, it took a long time for this to dry on my hand. So I really want to try to prevent as much creasing as possible. All right, I'm going to try to use the applicator and then the brush to blend it out on this side just to show you. Yeah, so I do prefer the method of applying it with the brush. I'm not sure how I feel about this product because it looks so pretty in like the swatch on, if you swatch it on your hand, you build it up, it looks really pretty. You can see the shimmer, but on the eyes, it just doesn't translate. It looks like nothing. There's like a patch of skin there that it took away that shadow. This side is still drying a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about this product. So unfortunately, I don't really like this. It's not my cup of tea. I would not pay $13 for this. Um, I don't know, maybe their other colors are better. I mean, don't get me wrong, you guys know I love grays and blacks, but this just doesn't have enough impact on the lids and it's making my eyeshadow lift and move around. It takes a really long time to dry. Not a big fan of the formula and it's just not enough shimmer to look nice on the lid. All right, so let's talk about the liquid to matte lipstick. So this is the matte liquid lipstick. It retails for $11.95. It claims to go from really wet to a matte uh, finish in a matter of seconds, smooth for easy application, then dries to a perfect matte lip. And this is in the shade Shag. Ooh, <laughs> kind of a risque name. Really, again, I really like their packaging. It's super adorable, super cute. And this color, Shag, is a really bright neon color. I would describe it as like a neon coral orange. So that is the shade Shag. Very, very vibrant neon orange. Unfortunately, this is not my favorite liquid to matte formula. I really don't like it. Uh, I hate, I feel bad saying that, but I'm just, again, you guys know I always tell you <laughs> how I feel about products. Unfortunately for me, I find this formula to be super sticky, uncomfortable, kind of heavy on the lips. It's like you're very aware that you're wearing a liquid to matte lipstick. So unfortunately, it's, it's not a formula. I'm really crazy about. So let's apply the color shag. I will go ahead and apply it for you. I'm doing it for you guys, okay? Because I really don't want to put this on. All right, so I let that dry and it's just so, it looks so bad, you guys. Oh boy. So. This is the shade Shag. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but it is definitely very patchy. It looks not so great. It feels, it is completely dry. And these are kiss proof. Like, you know, it doesn't transfer. But watch when I press my lips together. You ready? You ready? Oh God, I hate that feeling. Oh. Okay, so there's your proof that these are very sticky. It's like when you touch it with your finger, it's not sticky, but when the formula presses against itself, yeah. This is a huge fail. I'm ready to take this off, but these unfortunately are just a miss for me. 
All right, so the last item from the April box, again, is another lip color. Now, I've never tried their bullet lipsticks before. So it says that this is a rich and creamy full coverage uh, lipstick in the shade Rosé. Luxurious blend of natural vegan waxes, color-rich pigment, creamy, soft, and nourishing. This retails for $12, and it looks like you get a total of 3.5 grams. Oh, I forgot to mention, the liquid lipstick formula, you get 6.5 zero mils, 0 0.20 fluid ounces. So here's the packaging. Again, really cute packaging. I love the little like butterflies on the side. So this is just a simple matte black packaging. It says Medusa's makeup right there. And the shade number is, uh, shade name is on the bottom. So it's a very pale, this is how I would describe it, a super pale, lavender gray but it's super light like it looks on me it looks like white um i'm a little i'm a little confused because this is described as a champagne pink this is not pink this is straight up like a lavender purple gray it's very very creamy formula and it's a little bit on the sheer side so you do have to kind of uh build it up but it's very creamy. It feels very, very moisturizing. So that's the shade Rosé. So let's go ahead and apply this and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the shade Rosé. So it's safe to say this is a very unusual lip color and for the average makeup lover you're probably going to really hate this but you can mix this with other lipsticks mix it in with like a pink or a purple and I'm sure you can make it work and use it as kind of a highlight shade so I don't hate this color I just find this so odd with the black kind of blackish gray liquid eyeshadow and then you've got this bright neon coral liquid lipstick do you know do you know what i'm saying do you see where i'm going here this box is so confusing to me it just doesn't make sense so anyways i'm gonna take this off really quickly and i'm gonna show you how i would wear this because i do like those dead girl nude shades and these three ColourPop lip liners i do not know if ColourPop still sells these or not but these are like some of my favorite weird lip liner colors so I have the shade wet pedivor and also the shade marshmallow and they're all very weird colors <laughs> if you will so let me go ahead and put on marshmallow I think I'm gonna go with marshmallow so I'm just gonna outline my lips and also fill it in with the lip liner Alright, so that's how I would wear this color because it is so extreme on its own. This is definitely more on the wearable side. I actually really like this combination and definitely kind of mixing this in with something else can make it more wearable. Alright, so that is everything from my <laughs> April box for Medusa's makeup. Again, we had the cucumber sheet mask, the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Marilyn. We also have the liquid to matte lipstick in the shade Shag. And then also a regular like bullet lipstick in the shade Rosé. So those were the four items I received. Again, you may receive the facial toner instead of that lipstick that I'm wearing right now. Overall, I would say this is my least favorite box for Medusa's makeup. I've only received a few, like two or three. So hopefully the next one is better. Again, I was just really thrown off by the colors. It's not necessarily the products themselves. I mean, obviously I think it's kind of odd to receive two lip products in one box. I would love to see a highlighter or maybe a blush or you know, something different because lately it's been a lot of lip products 
an eye product so i would love to see like maybe a highlighter or a blush because i know that they do have those products on their website so my may box is actually on its way so you'll see that video very soon again i do have a complete playlist that i put together so you guys want to watch more of my unboxing videos definitely check it out i'll put links and information down below if you want to check this out for yourself so that is everything you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did Make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos every week. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.